I don't have that many favorites this month, but knowing me, this video is going to be like 20 minutes long because I ramble about things. So, we're going to get straight into it and hopefully not take 50 million years to talk about everything. Stop texting me. Please, Louise J. Ann. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my March favorites video for 2017. I've made two for the last two months, and you guys seem to enjoy them and ask me to make another one, so here I am today. So without further ado, let us get started. So my first favorite is this hat. My mom got it for me for Christmas as one of my like stocking stuffers, and I'm obsessed with it. I haven't been able to wear it like at all because it's been winter, so I've been wearing like toques to keep my little ears warm, you know? It's getting warmer, which means I get to wear my hat all the time, and I'm so excited about it because like, I love it, and it's so comfy. And I don't have to flip my hair back and forth because like, that's my thing. Like if I'm not wearing a hat, like I sit there and I like do this all the time, and then you flip the other way, and it just, it honestly just gets really annoying after a while because I just don't like when hair's in my face, but I hate the look of my hair when it's tied up. So like dilemmas, you know? But now I got this hat, so it's great. My second favorite is the Get Out movie. If you guys have not seen Get Out, like, you need to see it. It is so freaking good. I went with one of my friends, and like, honestly, my mind was blown. It did not go in the direction I thought it would. I did call what was going to happen, like, halfway through the movie. But like, at the beginning, you don't think what's going to happen is going to happen. And then it happens, and you're like, shit. I don't really want to say too much about it because it kind of gives the like premise away but basically a black man goes to his white girlfriend's house for a visit and a lot of things happen on that visit. But it's so good and like you need to watch it if you haven't already. Like highly recommend. So good. My third favorite of the month is Riverdale. I, I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Riverdale right now with the whole Ace Jughead thing. But with that aside, that show is so addictive. I'm like going through withdrawal right now to be honest because it's not on Netflix for two weeks. It comes back on March 31st and like it just left you hanging and I need to know what happens next with all the characters. It's like a loose retelling of the Archie comics. But like it is so good and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> a group of my friends at school have like a group and we call each other like different characters and apparently I'm Cheryl. And I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, my next favorite. Oh my god, guys. Guys, Ed Sheeran's album just came out, and it is a banger. Oh my god, so many good songs. Like, I literally blasted in my car and just, like, jam out so hard to it all the time. Like, I think I have, like, three favorites, four favorites, probably. I shall play you them, because, like, whoo, they are so good. The first one is Dive. If you haven't heard Dive, like, go listen to Dive. It's so good. I can fall, I can fly, hearing your It's a little bit slow, so it's not really like a jam out song, but like the notes that he hits and like the way his voice sounds, I'm just like, Oh swoon, slay me Ed Sheeran, slay me. And another song I love by him is Happy. This song came out right after me and my boyfriend broke up, so like it was like perfect timing because I was just like, bitch this is my anthem, you fucked up. So like, <laughs> I love it. And the notes that he hits on this song also just like, slay me Ed Sheeran, yes. This note, guys, this note, ready? Whew, like Ed Sheeran, you are so good. And then I also really like Perfect. I think it's such a cute little song.
Let's go. Like, honestly, I just think it's, like, the cutest song ever, and, like, my heart just... my heart. And then, my, like, all-time jam-out song in the car right now from Ed Sheeran, like, Galloway Girl. Am I right, people? Am I right? Like, oh, so good! Like, honestly, if you turn that song up to, like, blast in your car and you just jam out, you feel so good afterwards. Like, honestly, the best jam ever. There's a couple of my favorite Ed Sheeran songs. Honestly, the whole album is a banger. Like, New Man is so good. Nancy Mulligan, so good. I just listened to the album on repeat since it's come out. So, he's definitely one of my favorites for sure this month. My next obsession is, like, really recent. Except I loved it when I was younger and then I kind of just, like, lost track of it. But now it's back. RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my god, guys, if you have not seen RuPaul's Drag Race, like, you need to watch it. The ninth season just started on March 24th. And I can't find it anywhere because I don't actually get the channel on my TV to watch it. I have to watch it online. So if you guys have any, like, links where you can watch it, like, send them my way because I'm dying. Watched season two of All Stars, and now I'm, like, obsessed. And the person I wanted to win won, so I was like, yes, girl. Her name's Alaska. She's a queen. I love her so much. And then I just watched season one All Stars, the whole season <laughs> yesterday. I am um, literally just I'm going through the seasons one by one because I'm obsessed. But if you have number nine, send it my way. But honestly, like, I love drag queens so much. Like, ever since I was little, I idolize them. They are amazing and what they do is just so incredible to me. Like, I just, I wish I was a boy so I could be a queen. Honestly. I can't. Like, I went to see Kinky Boots and Lola, I literally cried when she came on stage because she was so fierce and I was just like, ah! oh, I'm wearing my Kinky Boots shirt too. Oh, how ironic this is. But yeah, obsessed with drag queens. And then my final favorite for this month is... Are you ready for this? Junior Mints! Oh my god, guys. It's basically just dark chocolate and peppermint, but my mom bought these for me yesterday and I forgot how good they are. Like, honestly, oh, they taste like heaven in your mouth. And I just, if you haven't ever tried a Junior Mint, are there Junior Mints in the States? I don't know, but in Canada, there are. And they are like the best thing to ever be invented. Like, mm, so good. All right, guys, so that was my rambly favorites for March 2017. Leave down below some things that you're loving this month. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!